Okay, so with the new Ubuntu 20.04, you have the new GNOME 3.36. It brings a couple of UI changes like DND toggle, new lock screen, but here's the interesting one. Extensions are now built in, so you don't have to download GNOME tweaks to manage GNOME extensions. And yeah, GNOME and not GNOME. Sorry for the last time I said GNOME, my bad. So now with the new GNOME 3.36, a lot of popular extensions like Do Not Disturb, open weather, no menu, either don't work as usual or aren't useful. So with that said, this is Pratik from techwiser.com and here are some best GNOME extensions you should be using with Ubuntu 20.04 or any GNOME desktop environment. GS Connect. Now, if you have an Android phone, GS Connect is a must have. GS Connect is built on top of KDE Connect and I love this extension for simply two things. It lets you reply to your notifications from your laptop, WhatsApp, Instagram, SMS or RCS, whatever you use. Next, sharing file from your laptop to your mobile is just seamless. I can set up some of my Android folders right here and I just copy and paste files as I do in Nautilus. GS Connect also provides a few bit of extra subtle additions like here, have a look. I have a song playing on my Ubuntu machine and as soon as I get a call, the volume is lowered and there's a notification. As soon as I pick up the call on my phone, the music is paused, speaker and mic muted. Now calls done, music pops right back on. This also works if I just pick up my phone and randomly call someone. One thing you will use several times a day and really appreciate it every single time. It also provides some handy options on the top panel for your phone. Trust me, there are tons of options in GS Connect and you will keep discovering something new every day. Caffeine is a small handy extension that I use. So suppose you have a code to compile, apps to install on the terminal or just a simple copy paste work. Just click on the caffeine icon at the top and it will block your computer from being locked or go to screensaver mode. Internally, it just emulates a mouse click and blocks your computer from being locked. So do your job, turn on caffeine and go have a coffee. Just make sure you only use caffeine when you really need it because it's a battery hogger as well. There's no native option to set dynamic wallpapers on Ubuntu. Hence, I use this extension called Google Earth Wallpaper. It sources its wallpaper from Bing, GNOME Maps, Google Maps, Google Earth, Open Map. Unfortunately, you can choose only one source at a time. Now, unlike other wallpaper apps, it doesn't give you a watermark on the wallpaper. Plus, by default, it refreshes the wallpaper every 24 hours. So I just love a little bit of refresher every morning when I open my laptop. So here I have a Lenovo ThinkPad laptop, couple of years old and this potato doesn't have a backlit keyboard. So I'm often wondering if the caps lock and numlock key are on. It's a shame, you know. However, to overcome this, I use this lock keys extension. It shows a small indicator at the top right corner showing if the numlock or caps lock key is on. Additionally, when I hit the key, it shows a nice pop up as well as showing the caps lock status. A must have if you don't have a backlit keyboard. There are a lot of powerful clipboard managers for Linux, but I prefer Clipboard Indicator. It's a GNOME extension that sits right on the top panel and you can always access it. But I mostly use hotkeys, Ctrl F9 to show the clipboard content, Ctrl F11 and F12 to quickly switch between the clipboard contents. And here's what I really love when developers do these small subtle things. See when I hit Ctrl F9 to see the clipboard content, the search bar is already in focus. So I can just start typing and search my clipboard. That was neat. Rest, it doesn't support images or text formatting or hotkey customization, but does the job for me. Although Ubuntu 20.04 now lets you customize the dock a bit, you can move the dock, resize icons, auto hide it, but it still lags way behind when you consider dash to dock. 
it comes pre-installed with pop os which is what i am using currently my favorite option is this intelligent auto hide so when i use an app the dock is hidden now but now i'm just selecting text at the bottom and it doesn't appear well basically if you rush the cursor to the bottom of the dock it will appear and if you're casually browsing it's smart enough to understand that Another thing that I like is I can set up scroll or click actions on the dock. So here I've set up to cycle through the windows if I scroll on the icon and minimize if I click on it. Gnome launcher is a mess. It's a hard time figuring out icons in this clutter plus is super glitchy. So a go to option was no menu but it doesn't work in GNOME 3.36, so you can use Arc menu instead. It's similar to the Windows 7 start menu. You access it with the good old Windows key. You can search for app. They are automatically categorized as well. My favorite is these quick shortcuts for pictures, videos, and tweaks. Bonus, if you also install Dash to Panel, it will show everything at the bottom, just like Windows. So this all started when I used elementary OS for the first time. The desktop was designed such that my laptop screen looked huge, but it was just a clean desktop setup and a transparent upper dock. So on the pop OS, I just used this extension called transparent top panel. It's plain simple. And when all applications are minimized, the top panel goes transparent. I just love this illusion. Do try this. Refresh Wi-Fi is something you'll hear everywhere. Okay, there's no refresh button on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth in Ubuntu. Most of the time you wouldn't need it, but when you do, you have to restart the Wi-Fi and that's troublesome. So Refresh Wi-Fi is a must-have extension on any version of Ubuntu. And to end all of these, here's my personal favorite. A small confession, I don't like the Ubuntu 20.04 blur lock screen because the blur is just too much and I love my desktop wallpapers. So I use this lock screen blur removal which does what the name says. Keep the Sigma to 10 and things now look good. So that was the list and let me know in the comments below what are all GNOME extensions you use and I would give it a shot. Suggest what all Linux videos you would like seeing and we'll get onto it. Quick update, we are doing the virtual meetup on YouTube Sunday 6 p.m. Come hang out with the team TW. More info on our Instagram, so stay tuned or rather stay subscribed. See ya.